part of any art quilt. I love to quilt illustrations into the background of my quilts. The illustration is traced onto greaseproof lunch paper with a fine felt tip pen. The tracing paper is pinned into position. Then with free motion stitch, I stitch over the lines of the illustration. Sometimes I use thread that contrasts with the fabric. Other times I want the quilting to be more subtle and choose matching thread. At the beginning and end of every line of stitching I pull the bobbin thread through to the top of the quilt to avoid a tangled mess underneath. Tracing paper is pulled off with the help of blunt tweezers. Where possible, I reduce the number of times I have to restart my stitching line by tracing back over existing stitches. But there are still many thread ends to deal with when the quilting process is complete. Each pair of threads is tied with a granny knot, threaded onto a needle and then buried between the layers of the quilt. That, in two minutes, is how I spend many hours quilting my quilt.